see what got left behind. I didn't clean the filter before I did this. This is what the Eureka left behind. Now this right here, this is just, this is carpet fuzz. Literally, you can tell this is carpet fuzz. It's not like regular, like just fluff fluff. It's just like, it's literally just the carpet because you can see it's the same color, it's green. Well, it's hard to see on camera, but like, it blends in with the carpet, it's green. But, um, as I said before about that carpet powder thing, picked up some carpet powder. But that's all the Eureka left behind. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I wouldn't count this as what the Eureka left behind. Because this is just literally this is literally just the carpet. Um but yeah, this is pretty much it. Now, no the other Eureka is not a bad vacuum. Definitely not. In my opinion, I think it does clean better than this vacuum does. This has the slight advantage though, because it has a new brush roll and a new belt, so the, Eureka, the other Eureka had like the slight disadvantage. Um, and the other Eureka, the filter had got, gotten dirty. This filter, um, I just cleaned up before I did this test. So, yeah. But, oh no. The other Eureka did a good job, and this picked up a little bit that it left behind. Because I wasn't surprised that the Eureka had left stuff behind because not every vacuum can get every bit of dirt out. I'm pretty sure if I went back over this with the, that same Eureka, it would get even more dirt out than just from what this caught up. Or if I ran the Vistal over this, it could get a more it can get a more dirt after this. Or if I ran the Shark over this, and then it would get more dirt. Like you get what I'm trying to say. But um, it's just a little short video I decided to do. Everyone thinks I think it's a bad idea, but here we go. I'm just gonna close this out.